Okay guys, I'm done with this Windows updates. I was trying to finish one of my projects one night. I was working late, hoping I could finish it that night, but then I got interrupted with a Windows update. Ah, you know, with Windows update, it doesn't stop. And if we try to go back, go into this computer here, type in list of the schedules of Windows updates, bam, there you go. And you have the list and the list goes on and on June, July, August, October. I believe you had this problem also. Like when you're working onto something, you're trying to finish up one thing and then bam, there goes the Windows update. Like getting ready, downloading updates, installing updates, and it will take you hours if your internet is slow and your computer is a little bit slow. But if this happens at the time that you really want to use your computer, it's really frustrating, annoying, what else? I don't want, I want to kick these Windows 10 updates out of here. Something like that. I made a video before, but then I deleted it in my YouTube channel because it's partly working, like 50% working, sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. Now, I did a little bit of digging and then this is the perfect solution for it. If you want that Windows update not to come in, you just go to the settings that I'm going to show you. And if you want that Windows update to get installed, you go back to that setting and re-enable it and then voila. But mind you guys, Windows 10 updates have been having problems if you've been downloading this once maybe you're one of those victims wherein it's not stable there are a lot of bugs with that windows update so it's up to you if you're going to do this or not i just don't want to get interrupted with this windows update let's go ahead and get this one done just go ahead and open your computer go to that search bar and then type in services.msc or just services in that services will appear if you watch the video that i deleted before regarding this windows update the initial steps are the same and there are additional steps that we should have done before but we did not do it that's why the tutorial that we created before is not 100 percent working now this window will appear just go ahead and scroll down and look for windows update so keep scrolling there you go we found it the setting of this is set to manual so right click and we should disable this one click disable apply and then let's go to that recovery tab and then this should be set to take no action and then set this one to zero apply okay now we're good here we can close that one go to that search bar type in gp edit and then edit group policy will appear click this one and this window will appear we are going to set a policy so there is a computer configuration and user configuration we are going to go for that administrative templates windows components and on the right side we are going to scroll down and locate windows updates open this one and then these are the configs that we can change so we are going to find the related configuration to that updates and we're going to disable it we're looking for configure um, automatic updates so this one would be also um, setting we disable apply okay that's automatic updates detection and configure automatic updates we disable this one apply okay and then you can find other one more one more. allow automatic updates immediate installation so double click disable apply okay there are other configurations there but that's good enough for us to disable that will be enough um, we can close this one let's go and verify on the Windows update settings type in Windows updates and then Windows update settings you can see that uh, this is disabled and it, there's a message that says some settings are managed by organization at the same time below here your organization has turned off automatic updates so that way we can verify and one more thing additional setting that we can do is to enable the meter connection so network and internet this is the Wi-Fi and then you click on our advanced options 
and then scroll down there's the metered connection you can turn this one on so if you have limited data you can enable this one so that it will control so that we can understand more about this setting I pulled out a page from Microsoft explaining this mirrored connection so we can exit this one and then here mirrored connections a mirrored connection is an internet connection that has a data limit associated with it here on the last part it says also some updates for Windows won't be installed automatically and that's it that should do it that's all about your Windows update guys and if you have learned something from this video, don't forget to share it to your friends, like this video as it helps this channel grow. And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe. Uh, we'll be having more videos, simple tech videos that you can do by yourself. Now, once again, it's me, Jinard. Our channel is Sorogi Pro. I hope I'm going to see you in my next video. Goodbye.